I'll sketch it on with a pencil. I've got some pencil around here. That's not a pencil, that's a toothbrush. I ain't getting nothing out of that. Good evening, everyone. It is nighttime now. Check this out. It is nighttime now, and this is after work, after I've eaten and everything like that. I have some work to do in here. Uh, this little stash that you see right here, sorry for the shake. These little 15, I'm gonna be working on those. Um, but tonight, I'm gonna start off working on a maple that I'm just gonna add some little cool designs in it. Something I saw on a stick I made last time, but it came natural. It was like some extra rot that just made some cool design. I'll show you that in a second. But I'm just gonna be working on a maple tonight, use my Dremel, carve into it, and either paint or stain. I prefer the stain portion, but to stain the areas that I carve in, you'll see that. Um, and I'm trying to make it look as natural as possible. Obviously, it's not gonna be. But I'll set up my table, and I'm gonna use it to compress the stick in there just to hold it in place so I can carve over it. So the maple I'm referring to, let's see, take them out of this pile right here. So I went and got that maple. You can see that pretty cool little rot look to it. Um, it's It didn't go too deep at all, but it left a nice black streak to it. And I have one up there and then that one down there. And that's really, that's really it. You can see we're kind of cracked off to the side and it just left it nice and dark. Um, and that's what I plan on doing tonight. Just doing some, I'll sketch it on with a pencil. I've got some pencil around here. That's not a pencil, that's a toothbrush. Got my carpenter's pencil around here. So here's the maple I'm working with. You can see all those little nubs I was talking about. Little where the branches came out, broke off. That one right there, I gotta chop them off with some loppers and then I'll really have to grind them down. Um, some of these, the smaller ones, the sander can get rid of that, but I prefer to go ahead and grind it down and get it taken care of. All right, safety first. All right, so I got it all sanded down now, or grinded down. Right now, I'm just trying to get my guideline to know which way I want to go. I'm going to draw one single line and draw it all over the place, make it as random and as natural looking as possible. But uh, we're going to see how that goes. Hmm. You might hear my neighbor taking out his trash. Okay. You can see my face a little bit, but I'll take my ugly mug out of it. You can see where I, you know, sketched on a very rough draft of a couple of things. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. You can see this one. And uh, just threw it on with a pencil, and now I'm going to go get the Dremel. I'm going to lock it in here, and I'll show you how I do that. I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple. So I've got me an old piece of cardboard, and I got it in order to protect the stick. And what I'm going to do... Take the stick and lay it in there, and nestle it all in there nice and neat. And the piece that I'm going to work on, which is this top piece right there, and I'll be able to rotate it and spin it. I'm going to stick them out. I'm going to crank it down, clamp it in, and it ain't going nowhere now. All right, Mr. Dremel, come here. I'm going to hang you up here if I can reach you with my short, stubby legs. There's my rope. Okay, get them in there. Ah. And the reason I have it hanging right there on that chain is it is the perfect height. Well, pretty much by a few inches to the table. So I don't have much of that Dremel line just hanging around.
took this one out of the clamp just right now just to show you my progress on this first kind of mock mold I don't not even mold mock 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 rot that sounds kind of cool actually you can see the progress that I made on this uh, first session so far it didn't take that too long really I just wanted to outline before I dig a little bit deeper and then smooth it out I have another one just down here um, wraps around a little bit I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty cool it's not gonna be too uncomfortable on your hands there's that I'm not gonna do any more on the rest of the stick here's the progress so far there's my Dremel tools down there and uh, let me get back to carving So I made a little design change to this uh, maple here that I wanted to do a little mock mold onto it. And what I did is, well, it might be just best if I show you. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up just right, but you can see where I carved in those cool little grooves where I'm gonna be putting the very, very dark stain. There's the top piece. The bottom piece is here. You can see that as well. And I think that's just gonna make it pop out and just add a little bit of texture and, you know, something a little bit extra cool to it. And so the stain I'm using is called Espresso Gloss. All right, paintbrush. Open this thing up. Come on. Oh boy. I ain't getting nothing out of that. Let's see if I can. Stab it. Oh, yep, yep. Hold on. Broke the seal. Let's go. So here's my cleaning call. It's a little pink thing. It's the only thing I can find. Don't worry about it. All right, you so uh, first coat's on. You may not be able to see it all that well, but you can see the, the lines kind of sweeping through. It kind of looks like bare hair a little bit and it's just the first coat second and final coat maybe a third coat later on so i laid on the stain thick this time around that's why you see me sitting here rolling it around so it don't just drip all over the rest of it so this is where i stand now on that stick I was working on, that maple. But what I'm gonna do now is actually, I'm gonna take some sandpaper and I'm gonna scrape it and rough it up a little bit just to make it, well, try to make it look a little bit more natural. And it's just, I'm trying to imitate some rot and it's not looking very rotish right now, if that's even a word, it ain't. All right, so here it is after the fact of roughing it up with the sandpaper and it looks pretty cool. Um, hopefully you can see the ridges where you can see the wood now and the stain's gone because that's where I roughed it up with the sandpaper. Um, and then I just did the little wrap around thing, just trying to make it look all random, just like rot does whenever it's on a piece of wood. And here, let me show you the piece that I tried to mimic. I mean, obviously it's not 100% exactly what it, what it was. Color's different. I don't know. I was just trying something totally different. Um, the rot just came out looking pretty, pretty cool. And granted, I had the polyurethane on this. I don't have anything on this yet. That's the next step. And it looks like it's about to rain, so I'm not doing it today, probably. Hey, y'all. So, as you can see, I got a few sticks hanging up behind me here to, uh, you know, you know, on my little drying rack because I'm going to shine them up with my sprayer. And I brought this guy out here to finish up too. It's done. It's, it's as slick as it's going to be and as shiny and as smooth as it can get. Now the next step is to seal it up and be done with it. And I'm using polyurethane today. Let me put that on the ground and uh, I'm going to bust open the can, fill the tank and spray them. All right, so guys, that is it for this stick. Like I said, I still don't know what to call it, but naturally unnatural. I was trying to mimic um, like where rot or 
you know, like where rock will go into a stick and you sand it down and it's back to the hardwood, but it's still darkened. Got another little spot down here too, just below where the lanyard's gonna be. And I'm gonna put a, probably a dark, let me see. See, I got two lanyard colors here. I got the real, real dark chocolate and then I have a nice tannish brown one. I'm probably gonna put the real dark one on here. It's gonna contrast it pretty good. You can't even see it at all that well, but uh, let's see. Which one do you guys pick? But anyway, that's it for this, guys. Get out there, have fun, and keep sticking to it. You guys have a great day.